YouTube. I'm back with another tutorial, and this time it's going to be how to, on how to change the hair color. Um, okay, so I just have uh, a model here, and um, her hair color is kind of a uh, blondish brown, but we're going to change that up for her, so let's get started. Um, zoom in on her, but not too much since her hair, well, in this case, her hair is very long. So again, you can use the Z key on your keyboard or by clicking the magnifying glass towards the left of your screen. Um, then you want to want to add a new layer, which is very simple. Just go up to the top of your taskbar, click Layer, New Layer, or Shift Control N, and um, you can rename this. But I just usually keep it as Layer One; it's easier. Click OK, and uh, at the bottom, um, towards the left, there's a color box. Double click on that, and it's going to bring up a window where you can blend your color. Um, so just once you have your desired color click OK and um, then go ahead and adjust your brush tool which is also towards the left of your screen and again you can change the size using the bracket keys which are to the right of the P key and underneath the backspace key or you can use the arrow up at the top um, for this I'm going to probably go for about 200 to start out with and a hardness of about 75 Okay. So once you have that, just start by filling in um, over top of the hair. Um, again, messiness, not a big deal. There's no need to be neat at this point. Uh, just make sure that you have the entire uh, hair covered because you don't want to um, accidentally forget a spot or something. So as you can see, I'm not very being very neat at all. Um, really, this is just to give it a basic outline, and um, we're gonna fix it later. So doesn't really matter, I guess. And um, if you really want to be precise, you can go ahead and change your brush tool to the size of the hair, um, like the windswept hair, like I'm going to right now. I'll show you. Uh, I'm just gonna use my bracket keys and um, just fill in this little area with a small hair and down here and uh... just again don't forget any hair um, and also another other thing that um is commonly forgotten is the eyebrows. So um, adjust your brush tool and just fill in the eyebrows. Okay. So basically we have our basic outline and yes it looks really weird and not too professional but don't worry we're going to fix that right now. Go over to the right of your screen and the blending options are automatically set to normal. Change that to color and it's kind of going to give her like this grayish hair, which we definitely don't want. So we're going to change the opacity, which is just to the right of the blending options. And um, this is basically how much brown's covering her hair. Um, so, you know, adjust it to where you see fit. Um, I'm not, I don't really want it too far over her hair. So I'm going to go probably around 50. And I'll just show you what it was before and what it is now. Kind of a little different. So we're almost done. Go over to the right of your screen and click your eraser tool. This works the same exact way as the brush tool with the bracket keys. Um, but we want a hardness um, definitely of like 95. 90-95. And um, then just go ahead and uh, start erasing the spots that you've um, over uh, colored on, I guess. Whoops. Again, if you messed up just like I did, um, you could just click back on your brush tool and uh, cover it in the area and then just go back to erasing. Very simple. Um, and this this isn't a very high quality photograph um, so precision isn't top like necessary but um, you definitely want to be a, a little more precise than um, and take your time on it, which I'm definitely not doing right now just because I don't want this tutorial to be like 20 minutes. So, um, just if it's your first time, definitely start by taking your time. And, um, so 
it. And then as you advance, I guess you could say, you can um, start like doing this in um, a very quick and short amount of time. So I'm just going to take the uh, my big eraser tool and just go around the top of her head just to make sure that I don't have anything in the background. And another hint I'm going to give you is if you have a hair, like with windswept hair, and it's just not cooperating with you at all. I'll suggest um, coloring in the back ground um, with the same exact color that you're using for your hair. But remember, this is not going to um, be the same color as the hair just because the background is obviously a different color. It's going to be darker or lighting depending on what color it was to start with. So um, basically we're done right now. And, um, I hope this tutorial really helped, and I'll be making more, um, so I hope you enjoyed it, and happy editing!